what y'all see now Joe getting that dirt pushed back in underneath they trying to get it level uh, I wanted to come down and show y'all this area here what they working on and uh, well I got to go I got to get out of here I believe they say uh, Tim's on the way back and I don't want him to know I've been down here recording his crew no, it ain't edible. Well, you have to pay the bag you eat that camera. She said, I know it, it looks like it tastes good. They said they don't want to talk to me. They said they got to handle business so they can get out of this sun. Across the creek, back again with another. Back again with another. And uh, well, I'm going to come down uh, there. So let you guys meet the guys. See how the pond's doing. I don't know if they feel like being interviewed, but sometimes people like talking in front of the camera, and sometimes they don't. That's Lee right there. Lee's the operator. He been running the show with that track hole getting after them here. And uh, let me take y'all up the other side. They got a nice pond going in here. I've seen them dug a couple times, but I ain't seen one this nice. That's smoking Joe on that back side. He's barely making it. Brent, Brent's the diesel mechanic. And uh, when he's the man with the muscle, he toted this sucker in here. What's it weigh, Brent? It don't weigh that much. How long is it? 20 foot. 20 foot corrugated, I believe, eight inches or 16. What is it, Lee? What? Eight inches? That pipe? That's eight. Eight inch pipe, and they getting this thing dug out country style. We're gonna get it blocked in, and uh, well, Machine's running good too. But, uh, I wanted to show you guys that old smoking Joe back there. He's the one that built my porch. And I gotta keep my eye on him because sometimes he get too hot and go to lean. And when he go to lean, he may fall over. You alright back there, Joe? Yeah. He won't talk to me. We won't oh he's got that delay, they told me. Got that delay. Make sure Joe alright. He said he won't make sure he's in a good spot. But uh, Lee been trying to get this thing filled in thick and high on his backside so he don't slide off yeah. and down and around. But it's hot out and they've been at it, I don't know, a week or so. And that rain let up this week so we able to get in here, well, be on this thing like a fat woman on a french fry. They slide it in there, and uh, well, I thought it had to be level, but they said it's got to have a little bit of slope to it. Uh, one and a half, two percent, Lee say. Got a little slope. Where it drains on out. But they got a good crew. I ain't never seen no crew get after it like this. But we done had a couple of these dug, and well, I don't know if I got them or they got us. But it's been a good day so far. Uh, we're gonna get this thing built on in and well, I wanted to show you guys, well, that tank we working on up there, well, it's coming along good too. And well, that's the reason for this video, but I did want you guys, well, huh, let you guys know, well, the water systems are underway. Don't let me get in your way. How's it coming, Brent? Uh, now we didn't need much. I don't know. Brent said he's hot, he's tired, he don't feel like talking to me. <laughs> I don't even, I didn't know you talked to Dang me. Um, camera out of my face is what he said. Alright, let's see. Too much. They got Brent down there, he's the muscle man day. They down there using his shoulders today. Lee's doing the lift and the lift. Step on, wait a minute, Lee. Step on. Alright. There you go, there you go, Brent. Use them shoulders. Like they got a line. bunch of red dirt in here, so they should be pretty confident the water's gonna stay in here fine. Uh, Lee's been tampering it down and getting it flat where that water bowl in here just right. And we gotta get it to grade, I believe is what they call it. It's gotta be flat all the way across. It's got to be even coming in. Well, our last time we had water flowing out both sides. Wait a minute, Brent, this is what it is? Tell us, what is that? What? That right there, what is that? It's blue. 
Hey, tell you what it's used for. Hey. Tell them, Brent. It's what? It's lube. Lube? Yeah. yeah. I better stay away from that. It's children that watch the channel, so I try not to cuss. I know. That's why I try not to tell you what the lube is for. Uh. I think I can use my imagination. It's been a long time, actually. Lee's hot. He got his hands rested over there. He's been out here. Lee, how long have you been out here at it? What time you get here this morning? Nothing. Don't tell a lie now. No, actually, I've been here by 6.30. That's what I was going to say. Lee been out here working. He's been hard at it. You know, Brent's been, well, he's the fix-it-all guy, so he's got to go where he's got to go. He's rested up. He's got good energy. He's getting that thing lubed up. He say he can't tell you what it's used for, but he can show you how to use it if you watch him. He's getting it on there just fine. Yeah. Hmm? Joe's doing what he's always doing. Resting. Nothing. Nothing. He's sitting playing dirty at you watching this thing. There you go. I ain't never seen it done like this before. But, uh, guys say they know what they're doing and so far they backing it up so I got to follow. That ain't the silicone, is it? No. Oh, he, no. Went to, he ran and got it. Yeah, he's going to get silicone. Uh. That's about like putting down them big black plastic lines for them septic things, ain't it? It's about the same concept. Uh, no. Yeah, well, this would be water. This would be liquid, not waste. Mm. Pick it up a little higher. I should have told Joe I know that much. I can smart off to him now. Rest it up. Joe, just ignore me. And when I'm on the channel, I gotta act like I'm tough. Y'all really in charge, but I gotta act like I'm in charge when the people watch it. like I know something about what I'm looking at I know last week when you guys caught this thing I told y'all I was gonna be wearing the fish out in that bottom hole in that left side over there where they taking my dirt down on this side so I'm gonna catch my bluegill on this side and uh, I'm gonna put me some flatheads on that other side the pipe and slope didn't go as planned so we're gonna have to get some more dirt under it to make it right that's what I appreciate about this guy's work they ain't gonna leave unless it's right I will say that and they don't mind redoing it and doing it right so I try not to haggle too much I can't help it I've got to try to negotiate some y'all gotta redo it Brent we're gonna try not to yeah Brent, they, they gonna try a different route on it uh oh, y'all look here. Joe's decided he's gonna look. Joe said he's gonna put a little effort in. He said, uh, he's gonna try to get that, he's gonna try to get that dirt on it so they don't have to redo it. What they're going after. Oh, that's a that's a handheld stamp that that'll work them on. Well, you rather have that nipple. That what it does is it stamps the dirt down and compacts it where, where you can walk on this thing. And when they get done with the bowl of it, around the edge, you'll be able to ride. And, uh, well, once they get done with that area, let me show you guys the deepest point on here. Well, I got to. And the reason why I got to show you well is because if any of you like me and like to wear them small mouths out, I got to show you where they're going to be. Come on right here. Let me show you something. We're gonna get this area filled back in with top. So that sun's coming down on my neck, what's going on. And well, that's making it hard to get to the areas that I need to get to. But, uh, well, I'll let you guys meet the crew. But, uh, well, I didn't wanna slow down their work and I try to stay out their way. Uh, uh, quite frankly, uh, no pun intended, but uh, I think this may be the best pond hiring crew I've been uh, found. And, uh, well, they couldn't get this thing well. This side here gonna be the bluff wall. Yeah, well, I told Mr. Good for you the other day. If he go down in there, well, I don't know how he's coming back out. I guess we're gonna have to go down in there and get him. 
they gonna get this guy packed back here. Oh, they gotta ride over top of it again and flatten it all out. And uh, they gonna flatten it back around this way. Well, this side here, it's not gonna hold water all the way up, but this is gonna be a fall side where the water comes in. We wanted to afford to drop off here, well, for a bunch of different reasons, but uh, we're gonna build us a dock off in this area somewhere. And uh, we couldn't avoid the, the drop off too much because of the fall of the land coming down here. Well, we'd have been grading this thing we're well, way off our property to get it to the right. They gotta get it tightened right. up. Are they bumping on that end to make sure it's good and they're tight? All right. They got that back end held up just fine. Got to be a certain grade for that water to come out of there. Just fine. At least putting that, bringing that red dirt in, putting that dirt on both sides of this pipe. slope out the back side well through the woods here they said they got it at just the right slope they want it at now and they packing it in and uh, as you can see the track over uh Brent when he got the tent and he's gonna bring that tent down here and uh, well yeah there he is coming down here look, look at him carrying right there look coming up on the right side of that track over there there he is right there I told y'all he was stronger than last so those getting kicked in. Brent said, hold up. He said, hold up. You got to come here and tamp it in, I believe. Oh, he got... Yeah, this one needs to be backfilled. It needs to... They put dirt on top of this out here. Can't put dirt on that side. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. I believe Lisa he figured it out. I guess they're gonna pull it out here. I'm gonna go get this battery charger. This old GoPro is dying, but once I get back, we'll really catch up and see how this thing is going. Lisa, get out the way, Chris. Whoa. Y'all, we gotta get out of here. All right, guys, we stopped in the aquatic area, well, for a couple of different reasons. You guys see them court come up, and, well, they're making themselves at home. And, uh, well, we traveled back in five hours with these guys, as you may have saw in the previous video. And ever since we got back, well, well they're coming on just fine. They're small and fry, and they're growing out, and, well, we're feeding them uh, these old worm bites, and they're enjoying them and eating that up nonetheless. But uh, since we're discussing the fish and aquatics on this video well we let you guys see our pr pond deal and uh well i plan with these guys well we're gonna move it from this one well into our square we've got a wooden core tank build as well and uh, we'll be uh showing that to you and we may be introducing it on the next video but i'll let you guys see the build of that and well if you subscribe and hang on around and well, catch the next video you may just put that thing together but i did want to stop in and uh well, reintroduce them guys because we hadn't named them yet I'm gonna let Maria be honest on that. Let's get moved on. Well, I was gonna do a quick feed with you watching this thing, but uh, I changed my mind. I'm gonna walk you over and show you the tank bill that we've got going on here. And uh, well, first I gotta let you, well, check on old Sharon Jean. She said it's been a, she said she'll tell you. She said I don't have to talk for her. Uh, it's been a long pregnancy for her. And, uh, heading into what Maria and I is going to build as an aquaponics area and uh, well as you come in through the door well that's where that tank is going to be sitting waiting on units. Woo. Uh, we got that sucker boxing in so far and uh, well our plan is we're going to block in that back wall there and then once we do that well that's when we'll bring that old liner out and well whew, 
I'm talking heavy, heavy. We're gonna set that liner in there and we'll unroll it and whatnot and tack it up and we'll hope it works out for us. Uh, our plan with this area behind us, this is where we're gonna grow our bait fish and all. Uh, what we're gonna do with it, well, similar to what we did at the other homestead. Our plan is, well, we're gonna grow Shiner. Yeah, we're gonna be here like Shiner Sam. Well, we hoping to turn that wine into water. Well, under the bridge is what our hopes are. But we're gonna grow some toughies and all in here. And uh, we'll go fishing. Anything we can use to bait to do some fishing. Well, down at that old catfish pond, y'all saw me down there working. Speaking of which, I need to go down there and check on them guys. And well, the reason being is, well, I went down there a second ago and uh, I asked them did they need any help. Well, I got a pretty good pick and a shovel. I told Skylar in there, well, I believe that pick, oh, it is. I think it's cobalt. It's cobalt. It's tough and durable. Uh, I can put that pick on one shoulder and that shovel on the other. And well, whew, come on down through there. I don't think we'll do a feed on this, and the reason why is, well, I'm losing daylight, and I really don't have time to talk you guys through one anyway. But, uh, well, yeah, I was serious. We crank up that track hole on one side of that pond and let that track hole dig on one side, well, and put me and Maria on the other, and I guarantee you, Maria and I with a pick and a shovel, well, we'd be like Jordan and Pippin. Well, or maybe like them Joneses, the 98 Braves, who knows? As y'all can see, that orange drop cord running through there. Well, that's why I was cutting the boards for that tank. And, uh, well, I said I wasn't going to do no feeding with you. But, uh, y'all see that right there? Well, we got a seven-way blend mix on this thing. And, well, them turkeys say rocking in here. We waiting it out. Y'all, let's get some feed out. Well, but before we do that, well, we got to let you know God don't sleep. We got to. Uh, we also got to let, well, Joyce Zimmers know we're thinking of her. Let's throw it on out and see what they say. Well, they say they'll have a little feed. Well, it ain't exactly corn and sweet feed, but uh, well, it's got a nice blend to it, and it textures over just well, and well, they're grateful for it. Uh, I don't think outside of this we're gonna do much feeding on this video, guys. Uh, I've got to make a trip back down to the pond there and see how that thing's working out, but uh, I did have to stop in here and feed them old peacocks, and uh, <laughs> stop and throw a bait of corn to them turkeys. Them turkeys, they're gonna be good Thanksgiving butter balls. <laughs> Alright, well, we told you guys we were gonna come back out and check and see how that pond's going and well. <laughs> right now, he's working up one side and back down the other. Uh, he's all over that thing like chili juice on a wedding dress. But uh, he's stamping it down right now. They gotta clean up some more of the little areas that you can sit here around. And uh, they're gonna pick that dirt up and lift it up here and put it on top. Well, well, they can press it in some more. What we're trying to prevent here is this backside here. Well, it's a long way down. And, uh, well, they clear some over around the two. Maria and I, we're going to fish down in there and back around. And, uh, well, the animals will come upside here, but we don't want some water. But, uh, it takes some time, and it's a very detailed project. And, well, it's going, it's going good right now. Uh, they also put the pipe in there. They got it sealed. And this pipe here is going to set down in here and uh, well when the water reaches a certain height it will flow down and back out the back side of the dam there and uh, the purpose of that is well if the water gets too high off a downhill slope here and the water gets too high and it gets over and above well it'll blow this whole wall out and everybody down this side here well, they'll get a taste of that water and uh, they'll have sunfish and drum floating in their backyard but uh not too long of a video on this one. I did want to stop in and catch up with you watching this thing and well, show you guys how that thing's going. And uh, well, as always, we appreciate you guys stopping and checking them out for sure. Well, as most of you already know, I told you guys, well, we run a regenerative style homestead and well, that's from the dirt up literally. Well, this old wagon here you guys saw us run our bonfire in. And well, that's a tongue twister. Try saying that fast three times. Well, this is where we burn our bonfire in. And, uh, well, y'all know them ashes where they make good, good, good garden material. And, uh, when we were using them coals and we dragging that thing up in there in that 1960s wheelbarrow there. And, well, yeah, that's right. This kind of garden right here your uncle used to do. Your uncle used to do. And, uh, yeah. I'm dragging them over and then the top here on top of the place. And, uh, well, in the garden area here. We'll try to get them talking into this clay. Let's see if we can get that thing bought up out of there. Well, and put back. 
see if we get the man. Dropped over in there. We'll drag this thing back and well, get on to the next job. While we got an extra second on the hand, I'm going to step in this area here and, uh, well, feed these guys up as well. Let's throw some feed down in there. Let's, get, let's see if I can get that thing latched back. Took me forever to get the latch. There we go. We're going to pick up some of these eggs. Some of these eggs look like they've been scattered about. And we're going to pick up a few of these guys and... She said, uh, she don't care nothing about who's sitting where. She said, take it or leave it. I'm going to set some of these guys over here. And uh, hopefully that'll prompt well, some of them other hens to get the land in some of them other areas. Uh, she ain't going to take care of them. She's going to be unfit while I'm going in to get them. Woo. But I did want to stop in and just feed these guys here in front of you while you're here. And uh, we're hoping to use both these areas as nesting areas. And uh, the guys said they don't want to visit. They say good enough to try to eat their kern. Let's get moving. Skyler and I, we've been putting some final touches on this old coop area here. We've got more uh, boards in here for structure to make it stronger and all. And well, we fenced the bottom. RJ and I did that a couple days ago. And, uh, Skyler and I is going to do the rest. As y'all see, we come back out and look at the same area that we were looking in earlier where the pipe drainage runs through. And uh, it runs clean out this side here. And, uh, well, the water will run off the back side there. But now that they've got it in it where they want it to be, where the area there here that they disturbed, but it's got to be backfield and uh, he's using a stamp machine and on that machine there uh, he's stamping it back down to make sure that ground's hard like it should be. It's going in well, going in well, that area there. Uh, well, I need it, I, don't, I told you guys that it's in that vertical position, but I also need to add it. Well, they're going to play around that elbow as well. Uh, well, we're hoping that that slows down. We've got the silicone there, so uh, we're going to put around the edges of it, but we're also going to play it in to kind of protect it naturally as well. We're hoping this thing works out just fine. We hope it works out in our favor. And, uh, we hope this is an area where we can wear them out a long time. I think if Joe was listening to me filming right now, he'd tell you he's uh, God don't sleep. We don't. We don't. Well, if your situation is bad, sit on them spot and, uh, well, it'll get turned around. I don't go to church like I should, but I preach on this camera. I preach on this camera. Well, I'm hoping them words in red getting red enough, well, to keep us on a straight line. Let's get after it. Tim, if you happen to be catching this one, well, I don't know if you're catching it or not. I don't know if you watch YouTube that often or not. But uh, I just wanted to let you know, what Joe's out here still getting after it. And woo, I guess he's earned every dollar. I guess he's earned every dollar. But uh, we appreciate the work that you and crew come in and put on the pond. And uh, well, we got high hopes and we got confidence. Well, this thing's going to shake out well. Maybe we'll make something out of it. Lee said, get out the way and get that camera off him. Thanks for watching.